I grew up in Bushwick, Brooklyn. It was mostly Mexicans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Blacks. There was always that sense of community. Very vibrant and lively place. There was always kids opening up the fire hydrants so the water would blast out. When I was 16 years old, my family and I were evicted because of financial situations. During that time, we were completely dependent on the government. It was really difficult for my mother. I knew that the only way that I could move forward was creating those opportunities for myself that would get me out and see different parts of the world. Everything I had known was limited in scope to my block. That was my worldview right there. Nature in Bushwick is not something that was on anyone's mind growing up. It just seemed really distant and very unknown. And then I did the LEAF program. The Nature Conservancy's LEAF program stands for Leaders in Environmental Action for the Future, and its goal is to empower the next generation of environmental leaders. I was 17 years old, and I finally got exposed to that place that seemed so far away, which was nature. And that's where that myth of nature being this unknown place was completely shattered. Beautiful? Yeah. yeah. I was working with invasive species. I did some trail maintenance. I had a mentor who oversaw the work that we did. They come up and swim and then go back down? They, they basically, if, if they're in a spot that they like, they'll stay there. That was my life for four weeks. I sought nature out here, and because I was able to identify it, when I went back into the city, I saw it all around me. I had to see the tree in nature and wilderness to see the tree in the city. From a little seed of an idea planted back in 1995, we've really been able to expand and grow. Now we're working in over eight cities to empower urban youth from across the country and seeing our young people come back completely transformed and ready to take on leadership in their communities and empower their peers and their families. I'm really excited to go to graduate school and I'm going for a conservation leadership program. I'd like to return back to Latin America to explore my, my cultural roots through a lens of conservation. If that conservation ethic isn't instilled in the next generation, then we're not going to get anywhere. Things are not going to get better. My sister, Andrea, she's 12 years old. She's my best friend. Through the work that I've done, I've inspired her to think about nature. She wants to work with animals, and it makes me happy that she's already having these conversations with me. I'm that role model that I always wanted. Coming from a background where I might have been told through strong societal institutions that I wasn't going to be able to succeed, and then I did it. I hope that people see that and can say I can do it too. The tree in the city is in reality no less worthy of our wonder and respect than the tree in an ancient forest. Both trees stand apart from us. Both share our common world. The special power of the tree in the wilderness is to remind us of this fact. When you join today, you'll help the Nature Conservancy achieve lasting results for both people and nature.